What's shaking? You know I'm baking. Calzax here. How you guys doing? Today, I just wanted to go through some of the higher-end sites that are available to you and discuss which, which of the ones that I like and which of the ones I think aren't quite as worth it. But we'll go ahead and examine a lot of these. As you can see here, I've got my M4 set up already. We'll just go ahead and toss the sites on here. This is a really cheap M4 build that I have. I can make a video on it. If you guys like, just let me know. So the sights in question today are the Elcan Spectre scope, one times and four times, the Bravo 4, the Sig Bravo 4, the Leopold Mark Hammer, and the EOTech HHS-1 sight. We're going to be examining all of these sights today. So uh, the first thing I want to make apparent is these two right here are actually the exact same sight, the Elcan Spectre. They're just colored differently. So this one, the brown one, I found to be cheaper. So just keep that in mind. Just a little bit cheaper on the flea, and even from Peacekeeper, he sells it for a little bit cheaper. But I think it's actually available at a different level. I believe this is uh, the Elkan Black Spectre. I believe the Black Elkan Spectre is available at lo loyalty level 3 for Peacekeeper, and the Brown Elkan Spectre is available at loyalty level 4. Again, same idea, so we'll just be testing one of them. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. So let's go ahead and start by examining this Elkan Spectre. This is actually one of my favorites. <clears throat> All right, here we are. So here's the Elkan Spectre. We'll go ahead and try it out. As you can see, this is what the scope looks like when it's zoomed in. I'll go ahead and zoom it out. So it gives you both options. The one times should be very similar to using a, a sight right at the end of the, uh, the gun there. And then you can see it's a good crosshair. And we can zoom it in even further. This is the four times. We can also zero. You can see it starts out with a base of 50 zeroing, but you can zero it up all the way to 200. And that's gonna change where the bullets are gonna land. But just know it starts at a base of 50. I really like this sight as it has a clean crosshair look both up close and far away, and it's extremely easy to toggle between the two, providing close and distant range. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and discuss the Leopold Mark IV Hammer by Delta Point. So for this one, to actually function uh, properly, we need to also have the Leopold Delta Point Reflex Sight. I believe the Reflex Sight is available at Peacekeeper Level 2, and the Hammer itself is available at Peacekeeper Loyalty Level 3. So we can take that, toss it on there, and you, as you can see, it's been inserted into the, the top there. Kind of see down it actually a little bit here. It's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it on there. That's what it looks like. Let's get into the hideout. All right, so we have it on now. So you can see this is what the site, the big site looks like. Sort of similar to the uh, L-can zoomed in. But as you can see, it doesn't toggle itself. You actually control, well, with my key bindings, you control click, but the LCAN rather, you toggle itself. To get to the other site though, you need to switch sites using a separate binding. Uh, watch my key ma mappings video if you're uncertain about that. Uh, but this is what the top site looks like. Providing the same effect pretty much as the LCAN, but this is a literal red dot as opposed to the close range one times magnification of the LCAN. So if you prefer the red dot, the natural red dot, this might be a better sight to go with because honestly the the zoom in is pretty comparable. Although it might one could say it takes slightly longer to switch between the two and it can be more disorienting. Whereas switching between the variable sites does not actually really a change your view that much and it's a little bit faster it seems like so just uh you know something to keep in mind be aware of just go with your preference honestly i don't think it's a huge deal all right next up we're going to talk about the sig bravo 4 4x30 scope this is available at peacekeeper loyalty level 4 uh similarly to the uh to the hammer we're also going to need to put a sight on top it doesn't actually accept the same one as the hammer uh, just keep that in mind, but it does work with most of the regular red dots with the fast fire. It works with the uh, PK, Zenit Belomo PK. Uh, it works with the even the Trijicon, uh RMR, 
Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. But for now, I just went with the uh, Burris Fast Fire 3 Reflex Sight and the Fur Burris Fast Fire Weaver Base, just because it's very available. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss it on there, toss it on there, and as you can see, we've got it on top there. So let's go ahead and toss it on the gun and go test it out. Okay, so here we are. I've got it on there now. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, this is the big scope. So again, very, very similar to the LCAN, very similar to the hammer. It's really gonna be what you prefer down when it comes to this kind of a sight, but it does have different, it's got a thick, round, circular crosshair there with the dot in the middle, and then it's also got the uh, the zeroing bar there to sort of help you tell distances. If you wanna be shooting further, you can use those to help tell your clicks. All right, we can switch it up to the top. And what I do like about this Bravo Sig 4 is the fact that you can, Pick whatever other site you, you choose. So go with the one that you prefer. It looks quite nice, honestly, just like we were having it on the M4, honestly. Itself, but we also have the option of the longer range. That's what I love about these sort of scope the sights, and I think they're really nice. But it comes down to preference, honestly. Not a bad one at all. Okay, lastly, we're gonna touch on the EOTech HHS1 site. This is available at Peacekeeper Loyalty Level 4. We'll go ahead and toss it on. Now, honestly, this one, as you can see, it's built a little bit differently than the others. It's actually two different sites put it, sort of put together. Uh, instead of being on top of each other, though, they are, you know, stacked together. So we'll go ahead and take a look. Honestly, it's probably the most different. It's vastly different than the rest of them, and not my preference, but maybe some of you guys will like it. We'll see. All right, so as, you can pull, as I pull it out, we'll go ahead and start with it down. So that's what it looks like down. I do like this a lot. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the holographic sights. Uh, I do like the up-close version of it. Don't mind it at all, but as you can tell, it has a very different crosshair. I'll go ahead and take the laser off. So it is a bit strange, game. You're not exactly as sure what bullet might land. Now let's go ahead and flip up the other sight. And that's a variable with the, you're actually varying the sight, not the scope there to change that. So. For me, it's an alt plus rightmost mountain. But as you can see here, a little bit different than the other ones. Instead of actually changing to a different sort of crosshair, this one's actually just magnifying what's already in place. So that's why it's not my preference, but it's just difficult for me to tell without like a laser exactly where I'm aiming with this thing. It does come down to preference here. Not my choice just because of the fact that it magnifies that crosshair like that, but you know, pick your poison. So I hope that this video kind of helps you get an idea of what the higher end sights sort of look like. And these are all available on the flea or at the peacekeeper levels that I was discussing. So I recommend you go out and try them out if you haven't touched them already. If you, uh, if you have messed with them a lot, go ahead and drop a comment. Let us, let us know and let the community know what you think about them, which one's your favorite. And may, hell, maybe you even got a clip to show us. I'd love to see some cool, really cool clips with these. I want to have a chance to talk to all of you guys, so make sure to follow on Twitter because that's where I'll be trying to connect with a lot of y'all and having lots of conversations as well as just keeping you up to date with what I'm posting and posting honestly random thoughts of mine. So I like Twitter a lot. To continue the conversation even further, please join our Discord. We have an awesome community over there that's growing. And for more content just like this, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get the tips right away. Thanks guys.